Hey guys, Jason from GlitchInTheSystem.com. I'm going to give a quick overview, like a first look of the Mimo app. Um, it's a new learning tutorial um, that you can use on your iPad or iPhone or, or whatever device you have. Um, so um, this thing is like a basically brand new. It came out seven days ago. Um, today is August 20th. Uh, you can see at the version history that this came out on the 13th, so seven days old. It's like a newborn baby. Um, so what you get with this app is uh, little tutorials for like programming, Swift, uh, HTML, CSS, and, and whatever is listed there. Um, I'll show you the app here. So um, when you first uh, open the app, it's going to ask you to log in with Facebook or create an account. I just created an account. And then it's going to ask you what you want to learn. So you have um, your options of what's available. And down here they have uh, what's coming soon. Um, so uh, let me go into HTML. So um, there is a pricing structure in this thing. So basically it, this app is is kind of like a free trial uh, kind of thing. Um, you'll get the first... Uh, chapter first two chapters for free of each lesson and then if you want to pay uh the annual 49.99 uh to get everything else um all all of the content that goes along with this app then then you'll do that it's it's a 49.99 a year so that would be up to you if you like the app so right now i'm just going to hit try um so when you go into uh your your lesson basically um, it'll be uh, you'll see the sections here you can open the introduction and see all the little sections um, it has uh, some information uh, it has like most of the things are interactive um, and then uh, it has some quizzes so uh, let me see if I can find okay so here's uh, one of the interactive pages so um, Right here, it wants you to uh, rearrange the, order the lines uh, so that the HTML is correct. So right now, the web content is over the HTML tag, so obviously that's not correct because the content needs to go in between. And you hit run, you get feedback um, telling you you're, you're correct. Um, the other kind of uh, interaction is they ask you, they have these little quizzes. You just select the right answer and then hit continue, it'll tell you that you're right. Um, and then this is the third type of uh, thing that you're gonna see. There's always a tap me at this place where an edit needs to be made, and then it'll give you two options. So um, you select the right one, you, need, you hit run, and it'll, it'll give you your feedback. So there's so far I haven't seen anything that actually asks you to type anything. Um, so. I don't know how I feel about that, but um, it's it's okay for like being an app, and maybe for like a, a true beginner um, who who really wants to like slowly ease into uh, development. Uh, but for somebody who has like any programming experience or or uh, has done any HTML or, or any coding at all, um, this would probably be a little too entry level. So this is probably good for um, the complete novice or even kids. So this is like a great forum for like uh, kids uh, since uh, multiple choice questions, um, uh, they're directed uh, to the area of what needs to be fixed and they have to figure out what uh, to fix so I think this is a great choice for kids um, so that was the first chapter of the HTML section um, if I go to the second one uh, you have to share uh, to unlock um, that's probably if you don't buy the subscription plan you have to do that I'm guessing this won't be there if, if you bought it um, but um, this will unlock the second uh, the second uh, chapter and then uh, anything beyond that, uh, it'll not have the option. You'll just have to pay pay the annual fee. So, um, all right. So this is the Mimo app. So, like I said, great for kids, great for the tr true beginner. Um, not not great for uh, experienced uh, programmers at all. Um, but I think it's a fun app. I think uh, any uh, elementary school, middle school kid would. 
uh, enjoy doing this and like the lessons are like really quick and short as as you saw and you, you can probably get through a whole chapter uh, in less than like 20 minutes 20 30 minutes um, I, I haven't seen the more complicated complex chapters but um, I'm assuming that the structure is probably gonna be about the same okay all right uh, check out the Mimo app um, on the App Store <laughs>